Oh, it's Friday, everybody. Friday, the best day of the week. And we are going to talk about a really cool movie. But quick, short story. While I was watching this, I was in the bedroom watching this because Nerdy Wife was watching TV in the living room. And uh, <laughs> there's cricket sounds because a lot there's a lot of this movie that takes place outside. <laughs> and Nerdy Wife comes in after a little bit and she's like, "Why?" Well, I was wondering where the cricket was coming from because it was so loud. It, it, was, it was funny. Today we're talking about the Jet Benny Show, Quentin Tarantino, Roger Avery, and Video Archives. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> Previously on the Nerdy Ronin Network. Welcome, welcome. As usual, we're glad you're here. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for joining us on this happy, happy Friday. At the end of the work week, it's running out the door and we're headed into the weekend where good things are going to happen like John Wick 4, for instance. Oh, I can't wait to see that tomorrow. Um, but before all that, let's talk about today in the description down below are some things we love things we use or have used and thought you might enjoy them so check those out are also also our merch page is down there with flagranttriggers.com you don't want to miss that and our link to our rumble page uh, that we're slowly but surely setting up so please feel free to check out the description down below now this is an interesting this is not going to be a super long video I don't think but I need to give you a little history here okay first things first if you've never heard of Jack Benny I'm sorry all right you should definitely check out some episodes of the Jack Benny show which was uh, you could kind of liken it to like um, Johnny Carson or, or you know it's kind of a comedian uh, skits, uh, interviews, uh, all with the dry humor and weirdness that was Jack Benny back in the day. Black and white, just good times, good times. And if you've never seen it, you're going to get a kick out of it. It's, it's hilarious. Um, you know, you got Jack Benny and his, uh, ever-present, uh, butler or, you know, his right-hand man Rochester uh, <laughs> but anyway first things first you should go check out they're on YouTube all over the place you should you should check out a couple episodes of the Jack Benny show it's just an entertaining show and and you need a little bit of history watch an episode or two of that to understand what we're talking about today because I was listening uh, every week I listen to uh, this little, uh, podcast here, Video Archives. Now, this is Quentin Tarantino and Roger Avery, and, uh, Roger Avery's daughter, Gala. They do this podcast every single <laughs> week, and if you want to check it out, it's videoarchivespodcast.com. If you want to know about obscure interesting movies that is the place where every week they take three movies and they watch them on VHS tape All right. and they talk about the transfer they talk about how good it looks they talk about if it's good or bad or not whatnot. and uh, I found this movie based on their recommendation so let's talk about it shall we The Jet Benny Show 1986 an hour and 17 minutes <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. And directed by Roger Evans. Now, Roger Evans is on Twitter and seems to be quite a nice guy. More than willing to talk about this movie when he did this back in the day. This is basically a Star Wars spoof. 
<clears throat> excuse me, with a Jack Benny impersonation, a guy playing basically Jack Benny, but he's called Jet Benny. Now, first things first, before you jump over to the YouTubes and watch this, or the movie, or you find it on VHS somewhere, understand, this is extremely low budget shot on like either 8 or 16 millimeter i think it was 8 millimeter maybe it's 16 millimeter I, I don't remember my apologies now it's very low budget but sincere this is not going to be for everyone but it's an hour and 17 minutes that's a tv show <laughs> With a few extra uh, minutes on it. Alright. I wasn't sure if I was going to like going into it. But they, those guys talked it up so well on the podcast. Now, real quick, I'm going to mention the star of it. Steve Norman, who played Jet Benny. Sadly passed away in 2013 of brain cancer. Now, Tarantino and Avery were talking about this. And were assuming that Steve Norman had played jack benny or impersonated jack benny during a, a theater show or stage show or something that you know the the troupe the the actors that did this maybe at a comedy club or whatnot but actually he'd never played jack benny before he just happened to resemble it so roger evans and mark felch wrote the story around him being a jack benny character and he never played or impersonated Jack Benny again after this was made. Okay? So, that's a tidbit for you. <clears throat> the, there's something sincere and honest about a group of people that make a film. Now, this movie got distributed. You can buy it on VHS. It's hard to find. And, you know, may or may not be costly. <laughs> And you can find it on occasion in a video rental store if you happen to have uh, one of those around your neck of the woods. But I watched this and it's intriguing. The story's fantastic. It, it basically is a skit. You, you have the Jack Benny show, in theory, and he this is a skit he does. And then at the end of the movie... He, hey, good night, y'all. <coughs> Excuse me. Thanks for being here. Look, let me tell you something. My throat is all messed up, so I'm going to... I apologize. I'm trying real hard not to let it interfere here. But something wrong with my throat. <laughs> just understand going into it that this is not a, high bu a big budget movie. It's just a group of people that did a short movie... That turned out fun to watch. But if you're looking for a high-end, you know, special effects in there, you're not going to get what we have today. However, the special effects for this being a homemade movie are fantastic. Like, they took pride in what they were doing. And it's just a funny show. Rochester! <laughs> In the in the movie, Rochester is a robot. It's his like C three PO, if you will, and he's always going Rochester, Rochester. <laughs> I'm telling you, once you watch Jack Benny, a couple episodes of that, then you watch this, you are fully going to understand and appreciate this movie. I, <clears throat> I'm always looking for entertainment, regardless of whether it's high end, low end, mid quality. I don't care as long as it's entertaining. And this is entertaining. It's silly. It's fun. You can tell they had fun making it. <laughs> and once you watch it, if you want to find out more about it, head over to Twitter and talk to Roger Evans. Because he seems to be more than happy to respond to anybody asking about his work. Um... So, there you have it. That, that's it. Look, this is just going to be a short video because I wanted to introduce you to this movie. It needs to be talked about. It needs to be watched. It needs to be enjoyed because 
In this day and age, if you say Jack Benny, people are like, who? No, no. Jack Benny is brilliant. Was brilliant, excuse me. But people today that TikTok thought process, they don't remember who anybody is. And most of the people in this generation today have never even heard of Jack Benny. So check out Jack Benny. Watch it. The honor what came before and honor the people that work hard to bring something, even if it's not like what you want it to be. If it's good, if it's a good story and entertaining, then it deserves to be honored by all of us that love cinema. There you have it. I've got to go get some honey and lemon or something for my throat. <laughs> <laughs> it's always something on a glorious Friday. Maybe I should have Chinese food for lunch. Maybe that'll help. Who knows? <laughs> you guys, it's great that you're here. We appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, be sure to run over if you feel the if you feel like it and follow us on Rumble. We're gonna give that a shot. So, thanks again. I hope you have a great finish to your week and a great weekend and I look forward to seeing you on Monday when we review John Wick 4 for sure uh, have a great one you guys from Michael the Microphone, Bob Squeaky Chair back in the back and this big fat silly nerd we will see you on Monday <laughs>